hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel y'all i'm so out of breath i'm so done i do not care how i look anymore i just want this done and over with so in today's video i'm going to be packing my hospital bag in my last video i packed the baby's hospital bag now it's like a week later i am almost 38 weeks i have an appointment um on the 11th I'm gonna see if they can check me to see if I'm dilated any. Ooh, I've been having period cramps, like period cramps. That's what I'm having right now as we speak. This is just realistic. Okay, so yeah, it's not bad. It just feels like mild period cramps. You guys don't know, this is my fourth baby my fourth baby also i want to share with you guys the symptoms that i've been having at 38 weeks just just in case you guys want to know like the symptoms um that you'll experience or what i'm experiencing i don't know maybe you guys want to know i've been pooping a lot like diarrhea a lot um like all day every day like i just have to take a a big fat dookie okay <laughs> too much information but it's real also a lot of pressure like in my bladder so i have to pee like constantly and then another weird thing that i feel like nobody talks about it feels like the baby is like moving its fingers like way down there in my cervix like it feels so weird that's how low she is but yeah i was feeling that all last night and like I said, I've been having period cramps. And sometimes I get like nauseous, not as much. And the baby definitely dropped. I feel like the baby's been dropped because I remember in my last pregnancies, I could barely breathe. Like the third trimester, like I could barely breathe. But this one, I could breathe just fine. Like even if I stuffed my face full of food, I could still breathe perfectly fine. But yeah, I think that's that's all the symptoms I've been having so far. Um, other than like nesting, I've been cleaning like 24-7. Like every time I get up, I want to clean something rather than I want to get up and just sit back down. Like, like I've been feeling like doing, but every time I get up, I feel like I have to clean up something. Like I just have to do it. Like even if I don't feel like doing it i just get it done but yeah that's what i've been doing for the past week now this whole weekend i've been cleaning up making sure everything's ready and yeah let's go pack so it's a few days later today marks 28 weeks pregnant y'all realistically i have four kids okay so you really don't need all that unnecessary stuff and you're just gonna be saving yourself so much time and headache for whenever you do come back home so you don't have to like unpack a whole bunch of you know shit so literally pack what you need because the hospital will already have everything that you need for yourself and the baby so i have 14 days left my due date is september 24th so yeah let's go ahead and get to packing i got this steve madden bag like five years ago from marshall's i think it's super old i know it's crusty and dusty but hey it will do and literally i don't give a shit okay and if you guys didn't see my last video this is my daughter's diaper bag i got this from shein for 13 dollars. it's super cute so make sure that you guys go check out that video Scoot y'all back so y'all can see me pack so this is my stomach. I don't know if y'all can see. I also got this graphic t-shirt from Five Below. I got a whole bunch of t-shirts from there for my pregnancy because I knew I was going to need a whole bunch of t-shirts because I don't fit none of my old t-shirts at all. So I got this tripod. I got this tripod from Walmart. And the reason why I'm bringing this is because I want to record my labor and delivery for you guys and myself as well just to have it because this will be my first time ever recording a labor and delivery and i feel like it's going to be special because to be honest i feel like this is going to be my last kid because y'all i'm tired okay but anyways yeah this is super convenient to have because it goes really tall and like it's just 
you know, it's really easy to just like throw in your bag. I'll put that right here. Still got my makeup bag. I just got a few things in here. Like literally, I don't do a whole bunch of makeup. Like what y'all see right now is what I do. Like my eyebrows, mascara, lips, that's really it. So just in case for like pictures and stuff. And then I got this bag. It has like some hand wipes exfoliating um wash rag i put some hair ties in there just in case i put some dove body wash and this little thing that i got from dollar tree it came with like a pack of three like travel size thingies i got a toothbrush also got some shampoo and conditioner just in case i want to wash my hair I just braid my hair back in like two french braids and just wait until I get home to wash my hair because I really don't feel the need to wash my hair at the hospital and then get my hair. I don't know. I don't know. The reason why I have a razor in here is because sometimes I go to my mom's house and I bring this bag with me. So yeah. Also got some floss in there. And then I got some toothpaste in there. So that's all I have in this little bag. And that's literally all I need. I think to, to be honest, you really don't need anything like this because most hospitals already provide like toothbrushes soaps and stuff like that but obviously if you want to bring your own soaps and stuff and your own rags and towels then i really don't blame you because you know so i got this comb because i heard that it helps with when you're in labor it helps with like stimulating your mind but yeah i'm gonna put that in the front part right here too so i just washed these so they're clean these are my slippers i got from burlington i'm going to be putting them in there i love these underwear because they're like boy boxers and they keep everything snug so i got two pairs of these yes the hospital does have like underwears and stuff but i don't like the texture of their underwears I'm gonna put this in the front part right here. This is going to be like my going home outfit. Just some plain black leggings. It's a simple, cute graphic t-shirt. I also got this from Five Below too. I'm telling y'all, their t-shirts are so freaking cute. But yeah, this is basically like my going home outfit. Nothing special. I'm going to bring one pair of socks. I was going to bring two, but I'm just gonna bring I'm just gonna bring one pair of fluffy socks because um, I remember the last times in the hospital, the hospital does provide socks, but um, but whenever I do go to the hospital, I'm there usually for like three days. So I'm in the hospital socks for like the first couple days and the last day I, I, will, I wanna change. So I would probably just use these as like going home socks maybe, I don't know. And I'm just gonna bring these sweatpants because it does get really cold in the hospital, like really cold. Uh, these are just my Juicy Couture uh, sweats. And this um, tank top to go with my sweats. And then also this little thin jacket in case I get cold. Because in the hospital, like you get hot, cold, hot, cold. Well, I do, so yeah so yeah this thing is literally packed to the brim the thing i'm gonna bring is just this little gown it's like a t-shirt dress that i got from walmart but i'm going to be bringing this just so i'm like more comfortable so i don't have to like sit in that hospital gown for so long so that's it i was gonna bring my waist trainer but i'm just gonna wait until i get home to do that because I feel like I would just be so uncomfortable if I put this on right after having a baby. Like, nah, I'm good. Also gonna bring my deodorant. I'm gonna bring my headphones. I got these from Five Below, they're super cute. An extra box piece just in case. And my phone is hooked up to my charger right now, but it's a super long charger. I got it from Five Below, y'all. Go to Five Below and get you a long ass charger because you know how usually the long chargers be like $10 to $20? Yeah, go to Five Below. I was gonna bring this sweater that my mom got me from Walmart. I'll probably still bring it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll probably still bring this. So I'm just gonna grab this for whenever I leave because it will not fit in my bag girl 
And I'm going to bring my brush. I love this brush. I actually have to get a new one because the bristles are like kind of all fucked up. Um, but yeah, this is just like a wet brush. Love it. And I do also have a towel just in case I'm going to be bringing two. So I'm going to set this aside with my sweater. I do have another pair of sweatpants. I have a gray pair of sweatpants and I have a black pair of sweatpants. But I don't know. I probably won't bring it because I feel like that's that's too much. I feel like what I have in here is plenty. And I was planning on bringing my breast pump that I was gifted from Wick from whenever I told them I was pregnant. They gifted me with a handheld breast pump. I do have an electric breast pump that I got through my Medicaid. If you guys want a free breast pump, go to aeroflow.com. Type in your insurance and see if they will accept it and you can get a free breast pump. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring this one. Um, I guess whenever the time comes, I'll just, I don't know. I'll just grab it and put it in the car, just have it in the car. But yeah, guys, that is literally all I'm going to be bringing with me to the hospital. Do not need a bunch of stuff because it's just going to be too much, girl. Just just way too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. If you guys have if you guys have any more like recommendations, what, what you think I should bring. If you think I should bring something else, let me know. Like they even have like pads and all that other extra stuff for you. So you don't need to bring all that extra stuff. I'm telling you, girl. Um, I I've been to the hospital with my last pregnancies with literally nothing and i stayed in that hospital gown and hospital socks for literally three days and i was good i was good i was chilling um they will give you extra socks and gowns if you need it they will give you towels if you need it um toothbrush soaps stuff like that they even have like a bunch of diapers and stuff for the baby so yeah they will not let you just sit there with with nothing and also i do live like 10 15 minutes away from the hospital so if i was to like ever like actually need something else i would have my man you know just go to the house and get it but if you are somebody that lives far far away then then you probably would have to pack a little more but this is realistically me and what i'm packing so so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.